Hey guys, Josh here, and as we are approaching Halloween, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite spooky, cozy games or farming sims, so that if you're looking for something special to play during this time of the year, you can get a few ideas from this video. And don't worry, none of these games are very scary or horror games, they just have some spooky or Halloween vibes, so don't be afraid and let's start. First, we have an obvious classic Graveyard Keeper, which is available on pretty much all platforms. This game has the gameplay loop and mechanics of a farming sim, and while you can grow some crops, most of your time will be spent taking care of a graveyard. Corpses are dropped in front of your morgue, and you need to remove their organs to sell them, then you will bury the corpses at the graveyard. So it definitely has a bit of a darker theme, but like all of the games on this list, it's never actually scary or anything like that. In terms of gameplay, there are huge technology trees, lots of upgrades, a ton of quests, as well as new mechanics that get introduced one after the other. And I will admit that it can be a bit confusing at first, but once you get into it, it is a pretty addictive game. As if that wasn't enough, there's also a lot of DLCs, so it does not lack any content and you can spend so much time on this game. If you're looking for something with a dark medieval theme, and you don't mind a bit of a learning curve or to spend some time on the wiki, you should check out Graveyard Keeper. The second spooky game I would like to recommend is the one that I played the most. I put about 100 hours into this game. There's so much to do and that is Sunhaven, currently available on Steam. One of the main features of this game is that there are three different towns you can live in and one of them is Withergate a demon city filled with creepy creatures, neon lights, and spooky decor. There is also a carnival there where you can play a bunch of fun minigames. You'll be rewarded with coupons that can be used to buy things like pumpkin-themed decor and so much more. And if you go in the outskirts of town, you'll find candy corn growing on trees. So it's just perfectly suited for Halloween. Sunhaven is such a fun game. There are two other towns that have nothing to do with Halloween and similarly to Graveyard Keeper, there is so much to do. It can feel overwhelming at times, but it supports up to eight players online multiplayer and things are a bit easier if you share the workload with friends. You can also make the days longer up to 40 minutes so you don't have to rush. And if you take it slow, there is so much to enjoy. They also recently launched a big update that adds three new romanceable characters and a ton of other content. So if you haven't played it in a while, it might be worth going back to Sunhaven. For the next game, we will stray a bit further away from the farming sim genre with Cult of the Lamb available on all major platforms. In this game, your goal is to build a cult so you will recruit followers, make sure they become loyal by giving them food and shelter, and you'll also be doing rituals, sacrifices, and all that kind of stuff. The art and animations are amazing. It's such a beautiful game, despite its very dark theme. So you will be farming, fishing, building your cult, decorating, but it's also a roguelite. So once you're done with all of your cult stuff, you will go in dungeons and engage in a very fast paced and satisfying combat. You will explore rooms where you'll get different weapons and upgrades for each run, then you'll go back to your cult, do what you have to do, and go back into the dungeons. It's a very fun gameplay loop, very addictive because you're constantly progressing, and of course, because of the whole cult theme, it's just perfect for Halloween. If you're looking for a bit of a challenge, I would definitely recommend you try Cult of the Lamb. But if you're looking for something a bit easier, then you might be interested in Ooblets, available on Epic Games, Nintendo Switch, and recently released on Steam as well. I usually wouldn't put this on a spooky games list, but they're currently doing a Halloween event that should last until November 10th or November 15th. They're saying different dates in different places. But anyway, the game has been updated for Halloween. The town has received a major makeover and is filled with Halloween decor. Everybody and their oublets are wearing costumes and you can even trick or treat and brew stuff with the candy that you receive. Brewing will reward you with costumes for yourself and your oublets, food and other Halloween goodies. There's even a limited time Halloween oublet that can be obtained, so it's definitely worth checking out the update. This game has a very quirky type of humor. I would say it's sometimes maybe trying a bit too hard to be quirky, but it's cute. It has a pretty simple card-based combat and it's overall a fun and relaxing time. I will say though, for me personally, it never managed to catch my attention past the 10 hour mark. 
but I also know people who are completely obsessed with this game. So I think if you're looking for something chill and quirky, you could give it a try. So if you're interested in these four games I just covered, but you're not sure which one to play, I actually made a poll asking the community for their favorite spooky cozy game, and here are the results. So 32% of you said Graveyard Keeper, 18% picked Sunhaven, 27% went for Cult of the Lamb, and Oobletz ended at 8%. So I hope that helps, but there was also an option for other games. So I would like to share with you a few honorable mentions from the community. One game that came up a few times is Cozy Grove. This game has a very similar concept to Animal Crossing. It plays in real time, so if you log into the game now, it will be autumn. And the game is designed to be played for about an hour a day, so it could be a great pick if you're looking for something to play a bit every day. Of course, Animal Crossing could also be a great pick for similar reasons, and there is a Halloween event on the 31st. Another game that was suggested a few times is Luigi's Mansion. I think any of the games in this series is worth playing, and it's not really a cozy game, farming game or anything like that, but it has haunted mansions, ghosts, and spooky kind of themes, all while remaining a cute and fun experience. Next, we have Don't Starve or Don't Starve Together if you want to play with friends. This game looks like Cozy Grove, but it's a survival game with a lot more dangers. There's crafting, building, farming, and the world is procedurally generated for a different experience each time, and it can be a bit challenging, but it's a lot of fun as well. This following game, I've not played it, but a lot of people mentioned it, and it's Oxen Free, as well as Oxen Free 2. The reviews are very positive on Steam, and it is a narrative driven game about a group of friends who open a ghostly rift. Your choices and conversations will influence how the story unfolds, and I'm really curious about checking it out myself, so let me know if you've played it. There is of course a lot more, but I would like to add my own honorable mention of Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. It does not have much Halloween stuff in it, but they recently released the Pumpkin Patch Costume DLC. It's free, and it's a very Halloween-y orange and purple outfit. So if you're looking for a little motivation to get back into this game and finally finish it, or maybe to start a new playthrough, you can spice things up with this new pumpkin outfit. Lastly, you can't play this one right now, well it depends when you're watching this video, but from October 26th and for a limited time only, there will be a free demo on Steam for Moonlight Peaks, an upcoming farming sim where you play as a vampire. I recently made a video going over everything we know so far about this game, so feel free to check it out if you'd like to learn more. But the demo will let you play for 7 nights in game. That's between an hour and a half to 2 hours, where you'll get to gather materials, craft items, grow a few crops, and decorate your farm. This demo is arriving just at the right time, and I will definitely be trying it sometime this week. So these are the spooky cozy games I would recommend playing in 2023. Have you played any of these games? And also, I'm curious to know, what are your plans for Halloween night? Do you have any costume prepared? I want to know everything. And if you don't have any plans, I will probably be streaming some of the games I talked about today on the 31st. So feel free to join me if you're free. And even if you don't celebrate Halloween, I hope you're able to find some interesting games through today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next video.